because everyone's trying to figure out what do we do with AI and are we doing, should be doing more than what we're doing today or are we not doing enough? Uh, and when you think about AI and network, uh, really today, a lot of AI is around data, unstructured data and structured data. And most network data is unstructured data. It's massive amounts of unindexed data that it's, it's more than a human can pull assumptions out of. So you really do need AI, uh, which gets into machine learning and how do you teach a computer to pull something out of network data. So when I think about AI and how we should be using it around network, the first thing I think about is machines and people working together. And it's really up around the analytics, the customer experience, the management of network spending. So it's kind of coming a layer above the network. Um, there are a couple people working on security items. How do you filter through massive amounts of data and tee up to engineers, something that they may need to look at or routing problems and those. But I think some of the ones we're gonna see even sooner are how do you use AI to do what really is a robotics component of AI? Uh, it's software robotics and process automation. How do you take the 80% of a job that's very manual and analytical, let's say around finding the right price across thousands of carriers that may have the service or renewing at the best price, making the best decision on ongoing cost savings. All of these things that a human doing it becomes very tedious and manual and really makes them kind of unmotivated. But if you can find that balance between a computer going through, finding trends, recommending decisions to a person, now you're using the person for their best value. They're strategically thinking, they're excited and motivated about the decisions. And let's say it's on renewal of network services, right? You've got enterprises or carriers that have thousands and thousands of off net circuits, recurring spend that they're doing. How do you keep track of that? When you buy it as a one or two or three, you know what the price is and you know it's the best price. But when you're renewing thousands, how do you tee that up? And I see that is what AI using robotics process automation and then tying that into natural language processing, that's one that's really jumped forward with AI, where you can begin to tee up notifications and communications that can go out to people, people internally, partners, customers, the whole ecosystem. So when I think of AI and networks, I think the first step we're gonna see is really around interaction and experience before we get to that next level of really in the network and operating the network. Mm -hmm.